Hello everybody, this is a video I know I have not made for a very long time. I sincerely apologize for that, just, you know, it's a multitude of different reasons that I don't feel like getting into, that uh, fire alarm videos have been uh, unfortunately delayed, but, you know, I, and this is an attempt for me to try and uh, at least give, uh, give y'all a little bait, <laughs> if you were. Um, well, anyways, here we have a new fire alarm panel that has not been seen on my channel yet, and then just two random alarms that I have set up. This is a Firelight MS5012 fire alarm panel that's pretty scuffed up. Obviously, uh, it's got a lot of paint overspray. I don't even know where it was possibly from. But yeah, it was. it's not in very good shape on the outside. It does work, though. Um, I actually got this for $10 at a Habitat for Humanity store in Roanoke. Yes, if you have a Habitat store, I would highly advise you check that out and see if you can find anything of interest. Not all of them are interesting, as is the one in Williamsburg here, that uh, I, have a, I have a strong feeling that they uh, pick and choose which items go out in the sales floor, because everything just seems to be too perfect there. You never find anything interesting. It just seems like a bunch of old people sitting out on the <laughs> um, uh, furniture for sale, such as the couches and stuff, but I digress. So yeah, this is a teensy tiny, if you don't know what the 5012 is, this is a teensy tiny little 5 zone 12 volt fire alarm panel. Um, I wasn't, I, I didn't actually know that they made 12 volt variants of, you know, commercially available fire alarm panels. I thought they would all be 24 volts, but I guess this goes to show what I know. Um, yeah, so, on the inside for the most part, it seems to be pretty, pretty well intact. Um, I don't even know where this where this could have been. This is the key that was included with it. Obviously, it was probably in the lock from the time it was put up to the time it was taken down. I don't know what this is, some sort of corrosion. The key also looks like it's completely bent out of shape, but somehow it still works. So that's good. Um, I do have some troubles going on. These are just because I don't have anything going to the dialer. Um, I don't know uh, off the top of my head how to disable the dialer. Well, I'm sure if I did, it wouldn't be there, but everything else, uh, th th these are the only two troubles. Well, it's only displaying one trouble, I don't know why. But yeah, it should say num number one and number two, which indicates those. Um, like I said, though, everything does work. Um, it only appears that two of the uh, zones were used, and um, two of the zones, let me, let me see, two of the zones were used, and there were no alarms, because everything else had resistors. I just uh, capped the resistor on this one, and I... Um, took the resistor that was in there and put it in the back of this alarm right here. So yeah. It works. So I guess uh, this is what y'all were waiting for. Just go and pull the alarm. I just pulled out two random alarms. I, w I wish I had a firelight variant because it would make it more complete, but I don't. So we're going to have to do with the notifier. Um, this is set to, what is it, code 3 something, which is whatever the code 3 is. I'm not terribly sure. I'm not terribly knowledgeable on that kind of stuff. But anyways, here we go. Um, I have expertly added some of the finest blue duct tape that Ollie's Bargain Outlet can provide because you know, that's very loud, even at 12 volts. I'm very impressed with how, how well it works at 12 volts. So yeah, it works. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with it, what there is to do with a 12 volt panel when I have a uh, Rolls Royce of fire alarm panels at my disposal, and this is starting to come off great. I mean, this is, you know, personally, this is a perfect fire alarm panel for very basic enthusiasts because it's very easy to put together. Runs off 12 volts. Yeah, this is not going back together. Oh, well. And yeah, it just seems to kind of work. I don't think it has any coding options. That's all right, though. I don't really need coding options for this. I, this is probably just going to be one of my little uh, play around panels. Unless I decide to sell it. Not sure if anybody will buy it, though. Because it isn't, like I said, it is in pretty rough shape. But, you know, I'm sure, even though I paid for I, I paid just $10 for it, I'm sure I'll have something of a uh, profit when I walk out if I try to sell it. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's just about it. Um, thank you very much for watching, and that'll be it.